So, continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a Dragon Ball Super Broly, and it's made by Liam again. I think he made me two cards back-to-back, -back and probably sent them both on the same day. I don't remember. But, before I go ahead and talk about Liam's card, go ahead and send me custom cards to BHF, custom cards at gmail.com, so I can go ahead and review a card in the near future, and that's it. Yeah. That's pretty much it, and you know, blah blah blah, I get all the older cards out the way. You guys have already sent me some custom cards uh, that I saw the little, you know, the little header to it. I, I didn't want to, you know, click on it. I was pretty interested, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty interested to see what was in the emails, but man, I can't let curiosity kill me. Now, with that being said, see what Liam has to say inside the email. So he says, I decided to, okay, so it says, I decided to A broly lr i think he meant to say i decided to create a broly lr seeing as we don't have a good one in the meta right now this one would release with the physical gogeta that i made which is what was made yesterday that we uh well he didn't make it yesterday but you know it's the one we talked about yesterday keep up the great work thank you liam i really appreciate that like little messages like this this goes a long way for me guys i'm listen positivity i'm all about positivity uh but anyways Let's go ahead and talk about this Dragon Ball Super Broly. So, Dokkan Fest LR. I'm going to go ahead and uh, highlight all this as I'm going along because this is all in red. It's like, it's a really dark red with uh, black letters on it, like black um, font color on it. So, we're going to be um, highlighting it throughout the uh, the video. So, it's a Dokkan Fest LR. Uh, the strongest there is full power ssj broly and he's extreme str so his leader skill is similar to the agl vegito blue to where he's giving extreme class three key and 150 percent of the stats and excluding the characters that are on his actual 170 percent leader skill but his leader skill is full power movie bosses or exploding rage three key and 170 percent across the board and his 30 percent of the stats is to pure saiyans or transformation boost so these are the characters that are on his 200 percent he's got me jiren and ui jiren ui and beast and, and of course broly himself but jiren ui beast okay all right um so let's go ahead and take a look at what his passive is looking like his passive is uncontrollable power so he activates the interest animation once only, of course, and he gets a 20% chance to crit for four turns from the start of turn, plus an additional 20% chance to crit for the first turn when there is another movie boss's category ally on the team at the start of the character's attacking turn. Okay, so he can pretty much get up to a 40% chance to crit within that first turn. All right, he gets six key and 100% attack and defense at the start of turn, and he gets 7% attack and defense per STR keys you're obtained, up to 175%. So similar to yesterday's card, which I'm pretty sh pretty sure that yesterday's card was getting 7% attack and defense per physical keys you're obtained. If I remember correctly, that Gogeta we looked at, well, the blue Goku and blue Vegeta that fused into Gogeta, I'm pretty certain that they had the same exact ability where they're getting 7% attack and defense per physical keys were obtained up to 175%. Uh, so continuing on, plus an additional three key and 50% attack and defense when there are no movie heroes or pure sans category enemies. So he does still get an additional buff provided you're not facing those enemies. I do, I do like that. I do like that. He's still able to get additional buffs. Now, does he get stronger when he faces those specific type of enemies? I'm going to assume yes, even though I haven't got a chance to read the entire card yet. So, uh, what's that say? Okay, so 50% chance. No, that's not 50% chance. That's 50% damage reduction because I read 50% and then I saw the chance of crit of uh, then I saw 40%. So 50% damage reduction and a 40% chance of crit and plus an additional 50% attack and defense when receiving an attack. Wow. So, this guy gets 50% damage reduction, 40% chance to crit, and he also gets an additional 50% attack and defense when receiving an attack. And that's all right here. Yeah. And those are commas. Yeah. Oh, oh excuse me. I had to go ahead and highlight this entire thing. So you, oh wait, no, that 50% damage reduction is unrestricted. I couldn't see it because the, you guys got to excuse me. This red is super dark. So I'm not really able to see, even when I do highlight it with the, uh, when I like, just go ahead and like, just graze over it with the, the little blue outlining, when I just highlight it, it, uh, 
it still is very hard for me to see. Maybe I gotta raise my monitor's brightness, but it's still hard for me to see the semicolons rather than just the uh, the commas. So I did read that incorrectly. He has uh, an unrestricted 50% damage reduction. Nice. And he also has an unrestricted 40% chance to crit. So just forget about it. In that first turn, he has an 80% chance to crit. And then, of course, going onwards from that turn, he has a 60% chance to crit. And then after those four turns, he just has that 40% chance to crit. But we haven't fully read the card, so we have to see if that's all he has for that crit chance. He also gets an additional 50% attack and defense when receiving an attack. Okay. And if HP is 70% or less when receiving an attack, he gets additional 50% attack and defense. So he gets stronger as the HP gets lower uh and he also let me go ahead and re-highlight everything uh he also launches an additional attack that has a 50 percent chance to come a super attack within the same turn after receiving an attack so this guy really wants to take a hit so you can get that additional 50 percent attack and defense right and plus an additional 25 percent attack and defense with each attack received up to 150 percent yeah there's a semicolon there so it separates it and he also when key is 24 disables enemy action once per turn and I'm going to assume, I'm just going to, okay, I didn't read the comments from yesterday's video. Okay, I actually, if Liam or, you know, someone down below left a message, I mean, I'm pretty sure Liam, he's the one that made the damn card. Um, But Liam, if you did comment for yesterday's video, um, I'm pretty sure, let me just go ahead and see while we're doing this video right now. Okay, so there was no comment clarifying it okay so going off of that i'm going to go under the assumption that this is separated we're going off of that assumption so when key is 24 disables enemy action once per turn and then there's a semicolon i'm gonna assume there's a semicolon there because maybe it's like a little like a, a little error inside the um you know the card and then semicolon when performing a 12 key super attack as the third attacker in the turn what <laughs> that's so when key i still don't understand that when key is 24 disable enemy action once per turn okay and then when performing a 12 key super attack as the third attacker in a turn so you got to be the third attacker in a turn with 24 key it's it's so this wording is so funky to me i don't quite understand this it has to be like a miswording. This has to be a miswording because you're disabling enemy action with 24 key. And then it just says uh, when performing a 12 key super attack is the third attacker in a turn. I don't quite understand it. But other than that, of course, he also foresees enemy super attacks just unrestricted. <laughs> so this guy just has free 50% damage reduction. He also can get up to a 80% chance to crit as well as a 60% chance to crit within those first four turns. And then a baseline 40% chance to crit. He also is technically a nuker to a specific degree getting up to 175 percent attack and defense with with uh, str keys first obtained um the only defensive ability he has is that damage reduction but he he does get strong when he takes hits uh what's his super attack effects okay let me read the explanation so Liam says this card is meant to be built extremely similarly to Tech Merzamasu, of course, LR Tech Merzamasu, but I gave him some extra stuff in his kit just to make sure him, no, make sure him, what? Oh, oh my God, bro, this, this color is messing me up. I'm so serious. I'm not even johnning, guys. Okay, so let me, re me reread it again. So he says this card is meant to be extremely similarly to the Tech Merzamasu, but I gave him some extra stuff in his kit just to make him a little bit better so the community can get the LR Broly that the community deserves. And I also gave him crit where Zamasu had damage reduction and damage reduction where Zamasu had crit to make him more of a damage dealer instead of a tank, which makes sense because he's Broly. Still tanking attack extremely well and also doing insane damage with a very high chance to crit, which of course he does have, possibly to one shot when wishes backfire omega so of course this car is made around the, the when omega was like the toughest fight in the game okay interesting so okay now i definitely see the vision yeah i see the vision now for sure 
Okay, so let's see what his super attack effects are looking like. So his 12 and 18 key super attack effects. His 12 key, the Eraser Cannon. He gets 50% attack and defense one turn. Does colossal damage and greatly lowers defense. And his 18 key super attack effect, that being, well, the name and the super attack effect. His 18 key super, that being the Crusher Meteor, which has a fire name, to be honest. Definitely sounds better than the Eraser Cannon. Then Z Broly have the little Eraser Cannon name on his super attack. Uh, like, just super attack in general. Okay, so his 18 key. He gets 100% attack and defense one turn while doing Meg Colossal damage to all enemies. So he's AoE. Cool to have. And he also greatly lowers attack and defense and disables enemy action. Okay, so he... Okay, so he's disabling enemy action. He has two disabled enemy actions? Or is that just like together? Okay, I don't quite understand. I'm just going to continue reading. All right, so his active skill. Terrifying Green Rage. So... His active skill condition creates the domain Broly Rage, raises extreme class allies uh, key by three, and becomes terrifying green rage for five turns. Can be activated when HP 70% or less, starting from the fifth turn from start of turn, or when there is another movie boss's category allies attacking in the same turn, or a movie a heroes or a pure saiyan category enemy starting from the seventh turn from the start of turn once only. And in his domain, the, what was it called again? Yeah, the Terrifying Green Rage. <laughs> I mean, the domain's called Broly Rage. Then you have the little, he becomes the Terrifying Green Rage. So his passive, Universe Crushing Rage, nullifies all actions directed at this character. So yeah, he definitely is built similarly to the Tech Merge monster. So let me finish reading off this card. So he gets four key and 300% attack, just at the start of turn he changes agl and tech key spheres to str and exploding rage category allies 60 percent attack defense with four or more str keys or something so this guy is uh, yeah he he definitely like this the explanation is definitely spot on excuse me guys i haven't drank no water uh since i got home uh but yeah he also gets new super attack because he does yeah, he gets 50% attack for one turn while doing Colossal Damage to an enemy. He also gets 100% attack for one turn, as well as just doing Meg Colossal Damage to all enemies, and of course, raising Extreme Class Allies' attack and defense by 50% for one turn. So he can't be damaged. He gets 4 key and 300% attack. He also is an Orb Changer, as well as he's a Support Type Unit. So he's, he definitely is similar to, in more ways than not, Tech Merge Masu. And his links, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Prodigies, Berserker, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Legendary, Power. I'm not going to lie. For some of these custom cards, I'm going to toss it out there. Give them BBB. Listen, we, we, we custom cards out here. I get going for the vanilla Dokkan S cards, but give Broly BBB. Please, please, please. You're going to tell me this guy's not a... Come on, what? He's a, he's a big bad boss. Stop it. Yes, he is. And these are his categories as shown. So, his design was created with Tech Merge Masu in mind. He has 50% damage reduction. He also does have that ability where he gets stronger when he's not specifically facing, not basically not, excuse me, when he's not facing the specific, oh my god, dev, chill. When he's not facing the specific type of enemy, that being movie heroes or pure saints category enemies. Uh, he also gets up to an 80% chance of crit. Yeah, I definitely see that. He did trade damage reduction for crit, so he can do massive amounts of damage. Yeah, and he gets stronger with each attack received, as well as him, of course, uh, having an additional super attack chance when he receives an attack. I, I do like this inspiration. I do like yesterday's inspiration, too. Like, from the AGL uh, Vegito Blue. I like this. Yeah, I do. I like that. Yeah. It's like not all custom cards have to be completely unique. When you're like, go, when you're basically trying to mirror what like is already in Dokkan, like you take a card and build off of that with that inspiration. I like that. Yeah. W card, Liam. Yeah. Absolutely. And this leader skill, just looking at the top three. I mean, <laughs> Omega? We're done. All right. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and send me custom cards over to bhdev custom cards at gmail.com. Um,. I don't really have much more to say about this Broly. I do like the inspiration. Absolutely. Um, thank you for the card, Liam. But uh, yeah, I already pretty much said uh, the, the email is, was, was, should be above my head right now, right? Uh, join the 24 7 Discord server. A link to our Discord server is down below in the description below. And I'll catch you guys next week. I absolutely love you all. Thank you for watching. I'll leave you like if you enjoyed. Um, 
And uh, I don't know when the next time I'm going to be streaming on Twitch. I was supposed to stream 2v8, but I've been playing the Roblox and, oh my god. I play way too much Roblox, bro. Man, slap battles be killing me. Peace.